Greetings, beautiful Leos, and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your autumn energy check-in. Okay, this is a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest behind. For more messages, I recommend that you check out the other astrological signs that correspond with your natal sun, moon, Venus, and or rising. So let's just dive right in, Leo, with Season of the Witch, Maybon Oracle deck. And we have for you... Apple of my eye with number two. Not all that's alluring may be what it seems. See beyond the illusion. Okay, it makes me think of the poison apple in Snow White. Somebody giving you a poison gift. It's not what it seems. So somebody might be gaslighting you or uh, making something seem too good to be true or uh, vice versa, making you think that you owe them something when you don't. The bottom of the deck, we have molasses with 26. To move forward, you must know where you are headed. Okay, you know, slow as molasses. So take your time. And we also have, you know, some baking going on here, too. So know what recipe you're using when you are making something. So that can expand out, not just into cooking, but also any endeavor. Get your ingredients lined up. Get the items that you need gathered before you do something. Read the instructions before you start putting things together without reading that. The instructions is what I'm kind of getting here. Take your time is also another message that I'm getting. So by taking your time and thinking about things, you're going to be able to see beyond the illusion. Apples are also a symbol of connecting with our ancestors. So your ancestors may be looking out for you, giving you messages, giving you urges of, no, this is not what it seems to be. This is rotten fruit, not good fruit. Okay, let's check in with the energy oracle and check in with your energies for this autumn season. And we have for you the fifth chakra with number 39 and Archangel Gabriel. Okay, this came up for Gemini, so you may want to check in your natal chart to see if you have any aspects or planets in Gemini, what house Gemini might be in your chart. But this is also speaking up for yourself, having the courage to say, no, I don't want that poison apple. Thank you very much. Look at this at the bottom of the deck. We have number 53 with Magician and the Mirror. You do see beyond the illusion. Uh, mirrors can be a portal. And I do feel like that you might be communicating with yourself. There's nothing wrong with talking to yourself in the mirror. It can be very helpful in getting to know who you are. Listening to yourself. You are also practicing listening as well as speaking. With this throat chakra, fifth chakra card. And speaking your magic to protect yourself, to stand up for yourself and say, no, thank you. 
And let's check in with Raise Your Vibration Oracle to see how you're raising your vibration as your energy is shifting. And we have My Breath Connects Me to Life. This is really nice too, especially with that fifth chakra because we use our breath to speak our words. We use our breath doing breath work meditations. At the bottom of the deck, we have My High Vibes Heal the World. Okay, this makes me think of the god Shu, the Egyptian god Shu, because he is the breath of the world. And when you inhale and release, you go Shu, and it gives you that ooh feeling. You're vibrating that ooh, and it's raising your vibrations like Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at this. This is great. Uh, so that it, it could be a mantra when you're doing your breath work if you want to use that. And that also will activate your fifth chakra because air has to go through our throat. We can also breathe without making sounds as well. But I feel like that this is an indication of using breath work to see beyond the illusion, to connect higher vibrations that not that heal not just you, but healing the world. You might be uh, developing a class or writing a book that uh, encourages healing with people. Your words are healing and comforting to others. Okay, let's see what we have for the tarot and go deeper into your reading. We begin with the Knight of Cups. Okay, all the Knights are instigators of change and the Knight of Cups brings love and romance. Next, we have the Five of Wands. This can be disagreements, not seeing eye to eye, but that's okay. You're able to speak up for yourself. I feel like somebody might be trying to force something on you, like with this apple of your eye. Not all that's alluring, maybe what it seems, and you're seeing beyond that. It's like, no, this doesn't feel right. I'm, I'm not going to waste my energy on these arguments. I'm not going to be drawn in and use my breath and words to argue with something that is minutia. Next, we have the fool. Now, you're just going to go off on your own and be fine with that. It's like, you know, I'd rather go explore. I'd rather go for a hike and explore nature be out in nature while you guys are arguing so i kind of feel like that some of you are like uh somebody arguing in the house and you're like i don't want to be part of that i don't even want to hear it i'm gonna go for a hike and then next we have the queen of pentacles she's very resourceful she uses what she has to create something new uh, some of you might be stuck uh, because she works very much with her community. She has uh, strong ties to her community. And instead of focusing on what she doesn't have, she works with what she already does have. Uh, for example, you know, maybe you want to work on a project or whip something up in the kitchen but you don't feel like going to the store so you like poke around and see what you have and you work with what you already have but you can still create something delicious by putting the right ingredients together next we have the king of swords balance 
I do like seeing a queen and king together. We also have the knight, so I feel like there's romance here for those of you who are interested. The king of swords is ruled by Libra. The queen of pentacles is ruled by Capricorn. The knights are not associated with any kind of astrology sign because they're instigators of change. And so we have three court cards and one high arcana card. I feel like that you're just beginning a new journey. It might have been something that you were arguing with yourself with because we did have the magician and mirrors uh, at the bottom of the energy deck and uh, and you finally cleared your mind and you're ready to start something new and this is really nice because the king of swords wants things to be fair and balanced the queen of pentacles wants to do something good in her community or for the world uh, setting an example, being a living example, she can create abundance out of what she already has. And then she can acquire more if she so desires. Let's get some clarifying tarot down here for you. we begin with the page of wands now i do like seeing the page of wands with the fool in the reading because they are like-minded uh he's off on a journey as well and look he has all that he needs on his stick he has his little bag he has his broom here much like the fool there's a pathway and uh, the Page of Wands is ruled by Sagittarius, although it can be any fire sign. But uh, he's adventurous. He's curious. He wants to explore. And with it being on the Knight of Cups, he wants to explore the things that he loves doing. And the Five of Wands, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Um, the Five of Pentacles usually feels like abandonment, exclusion. Uh, you might feel like, uh, with the Five of Wands here, you might feel like that people are talking crap about you. They're talking badly about you. And you're like, I'm out of here. I'm just going to go my own way. I'm going to abandon this argument because... I'd rather go towards my sanctuary. I'd rather go on an adventure. Even if it's cold outside and there's discomfort, I'm going to move towards that which I enjoy, which is warm, cozy sanctuary that they can see in front of them. So this is also a card of focusing on your strengths, not your weaknesses. And it could be with the Five of Wands, people are bringing up your weaknesses and you're not going to participate. You're going to abandon their argument. On the Fool card, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, another instigator of change on the Fool. His path is clear because the Knight of Swords moves quickly and clears all obstacles that stand in his way. So I feel like the fool is like, okay, my path is clear. I'm going to go this way because it's the path of least resistance. It's been cleared for him by the knight. We do have two knights, knight of cups and knight of swords. So this is, to me, getting more in touch with what you feel, the adventure and love of life, getting away from the disagreement, the bickering, the negativity, and going off on an adventure where your path is clear. On the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords. This is a card of meditation, quiet meditation, of healing. 
there is a blessing in this because you're able to recover your energies and doing breath work. My breath connects me to life. This could be a great time for doing breath work. And maybe you're going to be teaching some guided meditation classes. You're doing that for yourself. You know the benefits that it has. And you share that with other like-minded others in your community. On the King of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a card of new money, initiation, uh, seeds that are ready for planting. You know, you plant the seeds and then the, you nurture the seeds and they give to you a harvest. There's a give and take there. There's a balance there. You can also be gathering up seeds for next year's garden. Uh, and that could also be part of your meditation. And I feel like that this is kind of a quiet time where you are, you know, with this queen of pentacles, you've acquired a, a little bit of seed money here to go and get the things that are missing from what it is that you want to do, bringing your project some balance. Okay, let's get into Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle. What magic is coming to you, Leo? Nostalgia. Focus on the here and now with the master number 33. So you might be running into an old friend or having conversation with an old friend, someone that you haven't heard from in a while. We do have the fifth chakra of communication. We have breath connects me to life. You might be recalling the good old days and and using those bubbles of positivity to fill yourself with that positive energy, that breath that connects you to life and brings you back to the here and now. And then at the bottom of the deck, okay, this card's been coming up a few times in these readings. We have number 16 with Bitch Fire, Stand Up For Yourself. And I do feel like that you are standing up for yourself. Even if you're not saying a word, you're walking away from disagreeable situations. It could be walking away from a disagreeable job where, you know, there's just too much gossip, too much toxicity. And you're like, I've had enough. I'm out of here. And uh, a new path clears. You're, with the fool, he's taking a risk. He's taking a chance. And it could be that you need to just recover your energies from the, this toxic energy where uh, you weren't being appreciated. You, weren't, you were actually losing money with that five of pentacles because the five of pentacles, you know, here we have people who are poor out in the cold but they're seeking sanctuary in this building it could be a church an abbey whatever it is you want it to be but a spiritual place a place of spirituality is where they're heading towards where there's kindness and other like-mindedness and with this lantern it makes me think of the hermit card as well you're learning something more in depth about who you are. And it very well could be someone, an old friend, someone who knows you from back when. And now you're seeing where each other have been for a while and catching up with each other. And you are now able to stand up for yourself rebalance, recalibrate. You might even be reinventing yourself here with the Ace of Pentacles, starting up your own business. For some of you, if you want it, it's there. 
And I do have to show you this, number 31 with universe. We're all just stardust. And you know that there's that deeper inter inner connection with everyone. Okay, let's get you a couple cards from the angel number messages. Sometimes we see repetitive numbers. Uh, we do have fives here. Five of pentacles, five of wands. And we have 29. I am insightful. Well, that is good because with this apple of the eye, it is your insight that enables you to see beyond the illusion. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of of all things like that universe card we're all stardust the breath of life i feel like that doing breath work meditations is going to help restore your energies um, maybe you need a break from community here with this four of swords on the queen of pentacles and just kind of do your own thing with this Ace of Pentacles. That Ace of Pentacles is a card of initiation. And then at the bottom of the deck, how beautiful for Leo. Because Leo, you are naturally generous. With number 24, we have, you have a, you have a heart of gold. And are very skilled at maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer protector and provider all at once well that sounds like a lot of leos because the medal of leo is gold your being generous is one of your characteristics leo and you are extremely creative and you do tend to see things in pictures. You rule the fifth house of creativity. And it is that creativity that drives you. So I do feel like that whatever your endeavors are, even though I feel like you've had some setbacks, you know, with these two fives, the five of pentacles and five of wands, that somehow hurt your income, uh, you got you got out of there for a new beginning. You have gone in for your own self-healing. You've learned a lot of things from your experience, from your adventures, and you have that heart of gold. Nobody is going to take that precious gold away from you. And look, that golden pentacle the seed that is going to bring about balance because we do have balanced stable relationships the queen of pentacles gives you stability the king of swords bring you balance you are rebalancing yourself leo you're coming back to who you are some of you might be reinventing yourself and in that you stand up for yourself with that bitch fire, because Leo, you're a fixed fire sign as well. So I think that we have your reading here. I'm going to end your messages here, Leo. I hope that you enjoyed your message. And let me know in the comments down below if you want, if you liked it. Please keep in mind that this is a general tarot reading meant for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or Rising. And for more messages, you might want to check out your natal, sun, moon, Venus, and or rising and check out those videos for more messages. Until next time, take care and blessed be my friends.